What's up guys welcome back to yet another video and today Google have started rolling out Android 12L for Pixel devices. We have flashed Android 12L on my OnePlus 7 Pro. So in this video let's quickly take a look at what all changes they have done and if you guys wish to install you can find the installation guide in the description below. So here you can see I have my OnePlus 7 Pro which is currently running on the latest build of Android 12L which was a GSI image and I have flashed it on my OnePlus 7 Pro. This build comes with 5th March 2022 security patch and it says ported by Nippon using Irfan GSI tool. And guys, GSI images are not completely stable and you might have some or the other issues on your device. So I won't recommend you guys to flash it on your primary device, but for testing purpose, you can anytime flash it. And before starting the video, let's keep a like target of 400 likes on this video. And also we have 80% of users who haven't subscribed to our channel. So it's a humble request. Do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Okay, so let me tell you guys what is Android 12 L and what does L stands for? So basically Google have designed Android 12 L for devices having large screen. So L stands for large screen and mostly it can be come in handy with the tablets or devices having larger screen. Now let me show you how will it look on larger screens for example tablets. So first we'll change the DPI of my device by going to system developer options and from here I'll change the DPI of the device. I'll set it to 620 or 621 tap on OK. So this is how it's going to look. I'm not sure whether it will be visible for you guys. Let me try to increase the font size at least. So basically this is how it looks on devices having larger screens or tablets. You can only add five applications in the favorite tray. If you try to add more, you won't be able to do that. So this is how it's going to look in landscape mode. So swiping up, you'll get the app drawer. For the notifications part, if you swipe from the top side and here you can see towards the left hand side, we have all the quick setting tiles and towards the right hand side, you'll have all your notifications if present. And if you talk about the recent panel, this is how the recent panel looks on Android 12. Also, if you want to open application in split screen, you can tap on the icon, but instead of having split screen, on the top and bottom side, on 12 l you'll have the option to set or to use split screen towards the left side or towards the right side. So here you can see a pill which says split right, let's tap on it. And now I'll select another application. For example, let's use YouTube. And this is how split screen looks on devices having larger screens. If you have Android 12 l Actually, I personally like this UI. And if you go to the recent panel, you'll have the same UI or the same applications in a single tab instead of again having an option to use split screen. So for example, if I open up the settings page and again, if I go to the recent panel and tap on the previous use split screen apps, both the apps will be opened up together. So you don't have to always select the applications for split screen. This would be your Google feed. And this is how your settings panel will look. If you see the messaging app here, you can see we have two sections for the messaging app here towards the left hand side. We have all the messages just tapping on that particular message. You can read all the message from the specific number and later reply the same way. Right now, this is supported on most of the Google applications. So here you can see this is the Play Store and Chrome also opens up in desktop mode. So here you can also see YouTube application, how it looks on Android 12 Elf. Basically, if you're using Android 12 Elf on Pixel devices or any device with a smaller screen, then you won't find any major changes other than few UI and animation improvements. But if you change the DPI, for sure you'll notice a major difference then. If you tap on screenshot, the screenshot moves towards the left hand side. And this is how your dial pad will look on Android 12 Elf if you change your DPI. And now let's talk about some of the minor changes what Google have done on this latest build of Android 12 L. Basically, there are no new add-ons, but few optimizations have been done related to UI and the animation part. So here towards the right hand side, I have my OnePlus 60 on which I'm running a custom ROM. And towards the left hand side, I have OnePlus 7 Pro on which I've installed the GSI of Android 12 L. So for example, if you tap on internet tab here on the 12 L, you get a pop-up instead of directly moving on to the settings. But that's not the case on previous builds of Android 12. Soon you tap on that, 
the Wi-Fi gets turned off or turned on. So here now we get a nice pop-up menu from where you can make changes to your network or Wi-Fi. And this goes with most of the settings. So this is a very minor change what they have done. And the next change what you guys gonna notice is with related to notification panel. So on previous builds of Android 12, we had this notification written on the notification panel on the top side but now it's been moved in the center for easy accessibility and you can just tap on it that will take you to the notification settings you guys also might notice slight change whenever you pull down the notification panel you can see the animation on android 12 well and the previous build of android 12. so here on android 12 well you can see if you swipe up the notification panel the quick setting tiles get squeezed but that's not the case on android 12. and next change is layer to this at glance so if you tap on weather this will pop up your weather details and if you tap on date that will pop up the calendar but here on android 12 it only pops up weather if you tap anywhere on the at glance on android 12 well google have also improved the haptic feedback now clear all tab also got this pill shape design also for example if you long press on any of the application on android 12 well and if you tap on widget section now we get to see entire menu of widgets instead of this smaller one so again a minor change but a good one to easily access most of the widgets on single screen and now weather widget also have been added on android 12 well I might have missed out these things on the previous builds of Android 12 because I don't have any Pixel device. Whatever I do, I do it on my OnePlus smartphones running GSI images. So if something is missed out, then do let me know in the comment section below. Now we also have the ability to decrease the size of lock screen clock. So for example, here you can see this is the lock screen clock which is too big. But if you want to decrease the size, you can just go to the settings, display, lock screen and from here you can disable this double outline clock soon you disable it now let me show you the clock on lock screen so here you can see the clock have been moved towards the top side and another change what you guys gonna notice on the lock screen now the pin have been moved towards the top side on previous builds it was on the lower side so this is again a minor change here so guys these were some of the minor changes what i could see on android 12 well compared to the previous builds of android 12 and as i said earlier you won't have everything working on gsi images for example on my oneplus 7 pro there are no issues with the calling part as you can see here volte services do work if you are an oneplus user you won't be able to use the alert slider along with the fingerprint unlock and also bluetooth services seems to be broken so just keep these things in mind if you guys wanted to try out for testing purpose you can anytime install installation guide can be found in the description below so guys this was a quick look on the latest update of android 12 well if you still have any kind of questions you can let me know in the comment section below this is your friend ashok signing out see you guys in the next video